हेलो फ्रेंड्स नमस्कार दिस इज हेमा शर्मा एंड आई एम कम विद अ वन टॉपिक दैट इज व्हाट आर द मिनिमम डॉक्यूमेंट्स रिक्वायर्ड इन कंप्यूटर सिस्टम वैलिडेशन ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ डिमांड ऑफ व्यूअर्स एंड दे आस्क मी व्हाट इज द मिनिमम रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ द डॉक्यूमेंटेशन सो आई प्रिपेयर्ड अ स्मॉल वीडियो विद अ स्मॉल प्रेजेंटेशन टू डिस्क्राइब दिस थिंग्स इन अ वेरी शॉर्ट वे so friends we know about the alqua so just remember about the alqua what is the alqua and alqua plus principle we know about the attributable clearly indicate who recorded the data and perform the activity legible it must be possible to read or interpret the data after it recorded permanent contemporaneous data must be recorded at the time it was generated original data must be preserved in unaltered state accurate data must correctly reflect the action observation made and plus complete consistent and during and available so we know about the alqua and alqua plus i have one video on data integrity you can see that so same as a tg already defined in one of the presentation that designing electronic system which reduce the opportunity for the falsification so same thing alqua and alqua plus should be applicable in our electronic system also attributable user access control and e signature metadata legible permanent data security audit trial backup system validation contemporaneous auto saving type was recording system clock synchronization original metadata which permit the reconstruction of your data and accurate data captured manually data entry uh, source data and audit trail review so we understand about that the same principle should be applicable in electronic system so i got the idea from where i have to be implement the software from where i have to be automation automation and where you are going to be electronic system so when i got the idea we have to be initiate the change control when we got the idea just remember the gam 5 categories category 1 infrastructure software establish or commercial layer software like your window and adobe and uh, antivirus like means you have the license only you need not to be validated anything okay the category 2 is firmware software that is absolute now from the gam 5 the category 2 is firmware software like small small uh firmware like things uh, old instruments like ph meter all so this is uh, now absolute category 3 is non configured software means the non configured to user requirement perform only specific tasks that is pre defined software commercial available in standard software like uh, like if i am going to be purchase the empower as such and going to be as such use without any user requirement like this so this is a category 3 on that case and category 4 is configured software configured to user requirement like this empower uh, i am using uh, in the case of because we need the regulatory requirement from the 21 cfr part 11 from the annex 11 then i have to be configured that so this is come in category 4 and same in the case of scada and same in the case of the sap also category 5 is custom application these applications developed to meet a specific need of uh, regulatory company like i need the mail when i authorize in eqms something i need the mail then i authorize any document in the dms system and if i'm i release is the batch in the sap i should get the mail in my mail id like this type of the uh, custom application need then this is come in category 5 so this is the brief of gam 5 categories now same in the gam 5 where is the risk should be we have to be do is defined in this picture at the time of concept at the time of project at the time of operation at the time of retirement so this time we can check the risk based approach we have to be see in this is time points okay so this is some short way then we see the documentation so what is the requirement so uh, draft you uh, initiate your change control draft your urs first finalize with your team sit together check it team your quality team and you and all and check and finalize your urs and then authorize with quality head share the same with the purchase department purchase department search vendor with your urs response of purchase department and finalized one two or three vendor 
and audit the vendor and finalize the vendor on the basis of audit report, then generate the PO. Then after this SOW statement of work means team preparation, what is the responsibility of which team, who is the person responsible for the project, who is working, who is responsible from the vendor, this is also come into the statement of work. Okay, then validation master plan. You all know about the site master plan. You have the site master plan, site master validation plan. Okay, validation master plan. Then prepare uh, the master plan what, for the software particularly that you are going to be, what you are going to be do with the, uh, during the validation like this. After that risk assessment, pre-risk assessment because you are going to introduce the new software or you are going to update the software. So what would be the risk? What would be the wrong? So pre-risk assessment is necessary here. Then functional specification from the vendor, configuration specification from the vendor, functional specification for software function, configuration specification for as per your requirement, user requirement, configuration required. So what is the specification? then training to all users who are going to be involved in validation activity. After that, installation qualification, operation qualification. During the operation qualification, you can add UAT. UAT means user acceptance test, like positive testing, negative testing, etc. After that, risk post-risk assessment. After post-risk assessment, you have to see what is the URS, what we did, and what is now the RPM number. This is known as the post-risk assessment, and we should see what is the RPM number reduced or not from the previous assessment? The traceability matrix, recheck your URS again and found there. Is there anything left or and left? What is justification? All the things come in traceability matrix. After that, prepare the validation summary report. In the validation summary report, from the beginning of the change control up to the final release of the release note, this one release note should be included here also. And this is included here and especially auditors ask about the validation summary report because they want to see what is your approach in a single document. So this is very important document here. Then training all the user who is involved in routine activity like your admin team, your user team, then performance qualification because now system is released for the performance qualification means in your production environment, summary of performance qualification and recommended of use of software for routine purpose or not. So this is the very small presentation about the minimum documentation during the CSV required. So this is all about this. Thank you so much for remain with me. Uh, I hope you are doing well within the compliance. I will come with another instruction topic, interesting topic. Till then, bye-bye, take care and remain in compliance.